everyone in this video i will show how to execute ddl and dml statements inside uh, bigquery sql component for that i have created one job and copied this connection and uh, close connections from the previous job and i have added a bigquery sql row component as you can see in this component you can use the dml operation like drop a table insert or create a table insert records into the table and uh, select statement also you can use so let me open this and you can see i have selected built-in schema authentication mode as service account service account i have selected the json file project id i have provided the project id and in query you can see In double quotes inside double quotes you can use your statements uh, separated by the semicolon like drop table this one and uh, then create table you doesn't exist and uh, i have added one field called id data type as integer created date data type as time and uh, i have mentioned the default value for that field and you can see the insert statements insert into the table values field one value and field two value field two value we are passing default here similarly second statement is also there now go let me run the job yeah the job is running now Job has completed. Let's go to GBQ. You can see the table has been created with ID and uh, created date fields. Can I refresh it? Let's go to this and run this query. See, let's start from the table name. You can see 133. Yeah. So, so it means uh, the table got created and two records have been inserted whatever the statement insert statements i have provided in the job those uh, statements got executed and records have been inserted to the table okay now let's go to the query and see now the timestamp uh, value is 133 let me run the job again. Thirty-three, one thirty-three. Let's see. The job has completed. Let's go to big query. You can see previously one thirty-three was there. Now run the query again. You can see now one thirty-five. So. As for the statements or SQL statements, dropping the table, creating the table, inserting records into the table. So, in this way, the BigQuery SQL row component works. Thank you.